Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Parametric Equations. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you an example from our text about uh, what a parametric equation is, how to graph that, and how to eliminate the parameters. So the first thing we need to really talk about is what is a parametric equation. So it's an equation for a curve, okay, given by specifying x and y as functions of a third variable, often called t the parameter, Okay, so we're taking x and y and we're defining them as other functions, not just specific numbers. Okay, so x is going to equal f of t, y is going to equal g of t. So it's a lot easier when we look at an example to see what they mean. So here's an example right out of your text that we're going to, we're going to do today. Okay, so um, what we're looking at here is consider the set of all ordered pairs x and y defined by these equations. So here's your parametric equations, right? x is equal to t plus 1 y is equal to t squared plus 2t. Now t is any real number. A lot of times you see t for parametric equations as being time. In this case it's not, so you can use negative numbers. Okay, so that's, that's really important to, to realize there. Okay, the, we're going to do three things today. We're going to find uh, the points. We're going to uh, determine the points by t equals negative 3 to 3. Find an algebraic relationship between x and y and eliminate the parameter. Basically, what we're going to do is, what that means is we're going to take these two equations and make it y equals, we're going to put y in terms of x like we normally see, okay? And then finally, we're going to graph the relation, okay? So these are kind of the big three things that you're going to have to know about parametric equations. So when you graph, you want to start, not, well, start with a table, but in part A, find the points determined by this uh, t equals negative 3 to 3. So what I did is I just went ahead and created a table, okay? Um, and so here's my table, and put another piece of paper there. And I put t here in the left column, x, y, and my new order pair. So you have to be really careful. Now, what you can realize is that x is always one more than t. So this could be pretty quick. I can just fill this in very fast, but it's about substitution. For example, if I plug 0 in for t, 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, so you're just plugging these values in for t and finding your x values. So, for example, t is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, again, x is always 1 more than t. So that means negative 2 here, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And each one of these x values is 1 more than the t value. Y is a little more tricky. You got to do a little more work. You got to find Y. You have to square your T and add to t, uh, two times T to that. So let's look. All right. Sorry, back. Sorry about that quick interruption by the administration. So to find Y, let's just do an example. Y equals T is negative three. So you have negative three squared plus two times negative three. Okay. So nine minus six is three. So our first order pair, two, ne negative 2, 3, okay? To find this y value, you're going to plug in negative 2. Be very careful you're not plugging this value and plugging the t values in. So negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2, okay? So that's 4 plus negative 4, which is 0. So we're going to have negative 2, uh, or excuse me, I'm sorry, negative 1 comma 0. And you do that all the way through. So I could go ahead and do that for each one of them. Um, but here's the values I get for y. So I get 3, 0. This one is negative 1. I get 0 here, 3 here, 8 here, and 15. Okay, those are the values. And if you again, you want to see one more, like let's look at 3 down here for this last one. You could say, oh, it's 3 squared plus 2 times 3. So that's 9 plus 6, which is 15. So you're just plugging in your t value in for these and simplifying. So let's write our order pairs. 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 3, 8, okay, 4, and 15. Okay. So what you can do, I can jump down to C and graph this. Let's just go ahead and graph this really quick. Okay, we're going to jump to C and I'm going to kind of put the ordered pairs right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and graph these and see what the curve looks like. So here is right x and y and I have negative 2, 1, 2, 3 here, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 
And I could do 4 and 15, or I could do 3 and 8. So 3, and there's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here is the curve that represents this. Looks like a parabola. And that's what part B is going to show. So this is part C I graphed. Part B is asking us now to find the algebraic relationship between x and y. So I went ahead and graphed the relation after I did the table. It just made sense. So what we're going to do is when it says find the algebraic relationship, we are going to find this equation, okay, y equals. So what that means is eliminate the parameter. We're going to eliminate t. So in part b, we're going to eliminate eliminate t. We know that x equals t plus 1. So if I solve that for t by subtracting 1 from both sides, I know that t equals x minus 1. Okay? So we know that t equals x minus 1. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and find the equation in terms of x. So we have y equals t squared plus 2t. And I know what t is. I know that t is x minus 1. So what I'm going to do is plug that into y. I'm going to plug x minus 1 into y. But I know what t is, so I'm eliminating t. I'm saying that's x minus 1. And now we simplify. So you get x squared minus um, 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 2. Okay? And so now I just have x squared. That 2x and negative 2x, they cancel and then I get just x squared minus 1, okay? Now, interesting, if I look at the graph, here's my equation, x squared minus 1. Doesn't that look like the graph? That's just x squared shifted down one unit, and that's what we see right here, okay? So there's the equation in terms of x for this graph. And notice this curve was graphed by looking at x and y, but defined as two other expressions in terms of t. Okay, so that's our first example of parametric equations. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.